Okay, that's the thickness that we're going to take. Now, for thin wall, what if you want to find alpha? What is the area that we take? Okay. So the area that we will take is this area. Can you see where I'm shading? Right? That is the area that we're going to take. And this is the thickness that we're going to consider. Okay. That is, I mean, for I beam, that is a very, very distinct different. Okay. <laughs> you can you can you can see that, right? So so now, if you look at the thickness, what is the thickness we're going to take, right? What is the thickness that we're going to take? So for this case, the, the, the shear stress is equal to VQ over I what? T. Just one T. Why? Okay. Why is this just one T? Because there are two start points. Start point one and start point two, okay, for the shear flow. Whatever happened to alpha is influenced by where the start point is. So start point one will affect what's going to happen in alpha. Start point two will not affect alpha at all, okay. Whereas for this case, when we when we when we're looking at when we're looking at a uh, box beam, right? When look at box beam, alpha is over here. The start point is here. The, the shear flow has been split into two. One going to the left, one going to the right. Whereas for this case, the, from the start point, the Q did not split at all. Right? That's why the, the, that's why the shear flow, the, the, the shear stress is VQ over what? IT. Okay? So I want you to see this difference. Okay, I want you to see this difference. Okay, again, the four rules apply. Okay, the four rules apply. So some of you say, "Oh shit, this is this is this is head spinning." It is. Okay, this is because you have not applied yet, and this is the first time you are looking at it. Okay, so let me see what else can I inform you guys regarding this. Now, what what are the what are the similarities now? Okay, so now. The similarities is this, okay? So now, what if we want to find where is tau max? Okay, so what, what if we want to find, okay? What we want to find is now the stresses at, at the, at the three, six, at the centroid. So if this is our centroid, okay, this is our, oh, let, let's do, let's, 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 let's do uh, something uh, uh, over here that we, so this is our centroid. Hi, Professor. I have a quick question. Yes. So in the box beam, if the shear flow is split, is divided by two because it splits, does that mean that in the wide flange, in the middle, the shear flow is double because it adds up for both start points? Yes. So that's why Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Now, so th that's why I'm coming now. Okay. So if you look at over here, right, the shear flow, right, or, 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 or the shear stress, is equal to VQ over IT, right? So the thickness that we take is this thickness. So if you want to find at the centroid, right? At the centroid where I draw the circle now, the same thing, we take this thickness over here, okay? So the area is still the same, okay? The, the, the area to consider is now this entire area, that's where you get the Q1 and Q2 for the first moment of area. So likewise, the area, if you do look at the do look at the centroid, the area you have to take this and you have to take this entire area. That's where the similarities are. Okay. Now let me see. Okay, now question for your where would the structure fail? Okay, let's let's look into real world now. Okay, let's look at, so I remember feedback yesterday, some of you say, hey, Prof, you should do some real world stuff, okay? Calculation is fine. What will happen in the real world? Okay, question. If we want to look at this structure, right? Where will it fail? Anyone? Where will failure occur? 
So we know theoretically, hey, this is tau max, right? Over here, this will be my tau max. Okay, let's say the thickness is uniform, right? So this is our tau max. At the centroid will always be our tau max, okay? But will failure occur at tau max, yes or no? Anyone? If it's not a solid object. No, this is a solid object. There's oh, no wait, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if my uh, mic picked up that. I said, um, no, if it's not a solid object. Like if it's made out of several pieces, then that's where it's going to fail at the connections. So if, no, sorry. If it's made of several pieces, okay, if it's like, it's like what we learned before where you have one member here, one member here, and one member here, right? The failure will be at the where? Yeah, the joints. The joints. How about this case where it's one piece? Oh, then it'll fail at the centroid because that's where the shearing stress is the maximum. Uh, I think that way also, but it will never fail over there. Okay? And where it will fail, it will fail in this region. Hmm. Okay? Any idea why? There's no joint now, right? It is one solid piece. But failure will occur there, not on tau max. Anyone, please. Is it because of the jump from the large thickness to the small thickness? So then that jump causes like a instant reaction sort of thing? Instant reaction. What's your name? Vito. Come up. Um, Vito san, you come up with a lot of terms, you cheeky so I like it. <laughs> so this is because. Stress concentration, okay? In real life, it will feel where, where you get the stress concentration. So the bigger the radius, if you design bigger fillet radius R, right? You reduce the tendency for failure to occur at the junction, okay? Now, I will not teach this. You will learn R in what course? 3E05. So is the course that is after this course, okay? Dr. Jane will tell you, okay, how to select the proper fillet radius, okay? I don't do that over here. I teach you how to design the shear flow. Are we clear? Okay, now, uh, a key thing to take away from this is for a white flange, right? For a white flange, a key thing to take is you have two start points, and two endpoints, okay? The analysis is still the same, and we still apply the four rules that I taught you guys. Nothing changed at all, okay? Now, let's do an example, and I pick one example that is a very difficult example, okay? This example is, 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 is difficult. It's very abstract, but uh, hopefully after, after, uh, after, how I, uh, after how I explain, you'll find easy. Okay, so the example is this. Hold on, I will flip the page over. Don't worry, okay. Hold on, I'm copying the figures now. Okay, here you go. Okay, I hope you all can see the figures and I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Hold on. Okay, he's zooming in. Okay, so this example I said, the question is posted uh, on Avenue to Learn. You can get all this, okay? So let's look at example number one. Okay, so knowing that a vertical shear, yeah, a vertical shear, right? cause a uh, maximum shear stress of 10 ksi okay so we, we are we are given that uh, q uh, or shear stress max is equal to uh, 10 ksi okay so these are 
cat shape extrusion. Okay, shown. Determine the correspondence stresses at point A and at point B. Okay, so they want us to determine the uh, correspondence shear stresses at point A and at point B. Okay, so now. Why I why I like to pick this problem, okay? Why I say this problem is very uh, uh, very interesting, okay? But this is because if you look at a head, okay, the head uh, shape extrusion. Can anyone tell me? Is it a box beam or a white flange configuration? Can anyone tell me, please? Is it a box or a white flange? Anyone? <laughs> anyone? I, I, I... Is yes. it a box beam? Oh, but sorry. it's like instead of the uh, it, it connecting at the bottom, it goes out at the yeah. bottom? So what is it? Is it a box or is it a white flange? You have to make a choice. What if I don't wanna? I like that answer. Anyone <laughs> else? Is it both? Huh? Is it both? Where are you? You are right. You yeah. cannot make a choice, okay? It is both. Okay, so the top uh, the top uh head shape extrusion is both a uh, box beam <laughs> box and white flange configuration okay and some of you say oh holy shit enough headache already <laughs> yes or no right <laughs> so now it tells us okay so we have to find the uh, the stresses at point a and point b but this question, I, 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 I like questions like this also, and you guys will know by now, okay? We have to uh, locate the position of the maximum shear stress. Hey, I have not a clue where it is. I'll tell you that. I don't know where it is. OK, OK, so someone asked me, sorry, I was so, so excited, uh, asked me, do we change how we find the first mode of area on thin wall as well? No, you don't. You don't change. That's what I'm going to show you now. OK, you do. You don't change. Everything still remain the same. OK, you don't change the way that we find the first moment of area. OK, it is still the same. OK, now. So let's look at this structure now. OK, let's let's look at this structure. OK. So we have to find the position of the maximum uh, shear stress. And it was given to us that the maximum shear stress is what? Uh, 10 times 10 to power 3 PSI. OK, that was given to us. OK. Now, based on observation, OK, I, I repeat on, on based on observation, the centroid Y bar or the centroid Okay, is uh, 1.5 inch from the top, okay, from the top or the bottom. Cole, how do we know it's thin one, thick wall? This, for this case, I specify that it's a thin wall analysis, okay, Cole? Okay, so I will specify that this is a thin wall analysis, okay? So it'll always be given in the question then if it's thin or thick? Yes. OK, I Perfect. will tell you whether is it thin or thick, but when when you were to design a, 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 a structure where you use uh, where I show you the 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 the, the, the table, they are all thin wall. Remember that? Cole, remember I show you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those are, are thin wall. OK, OK, cool. Thank you. So the so based on so from from the central is 1.5 from the from the bottom or top okay from observation 
Okay, so from observation. Okay, so now I I I I don't know or we don't know where the 